Hello, my friends, and welcome to Whining with the Ryback. A little heavy first sip. I am the big guy Ryback, your host. And uh, today here on Whining with the Ryback, as as every show, I don't know what episode this is. We're, I don't think we've hit double digits. Maybe episode nine, maybe ten, which that would be double digits, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, we read comments, uh, negative comments here of people whining as I am whining myself. <laughs> I've had one glass before we started, nothing crazy. Today's wine is, uh, Seven Moons Red Blend. On my way, I, because I don't keep a lot of liquor here, swung by, uh, the natural grocers, but I had to swing by the liquor store to go. And I always like to walk up and down the wine aisle and look. I go by label how it looks. I'm a dumbass. That's why they make cool labels for people like me. I saw the label and I go, that looks cool. I bet the wine tastes like shit, so I'm going to buy it. Legitimately the label. No other reason for the purchase. I do this a lot. And when I see boring labels, I don't buy it. The wine might be absolutely amazing. I'm a very visual person, though. That's why, like, I had always the colors on the singlets, and I, I liked all the guys with colors when I was a kid. They market that shit for Neanderthals like me. And I, it's to the day I die. To the day I die, 117-year-old Ryback fucking driving down the liquor store, because I'll be in a little cart there at that point. Unless there's some really good technology, which there may be. I may have like half a robot body at that point. But um, I'm still going to make my purchases based on the labels. Because red wine, red wine blends are red wine blends to me. So it is what it is, guys. <sighs> a guy, though, I did feel good going to the liquor store today. Nice gentleman walking by. And I always know when it's coming because it happens a bit not that I'm anything special but he uh he's looking at me and I know he's gonna say something he goes hey I go hey bud I know you he goes what do you do and I said I go I'm an entrepreneur I own my own business <laughs> and then he goes oh okay and he goes I swear I've seen you places and uh I go no joke I go yeah, I wrestle too, buddy. He doesn't hear me, and he's still talking. So he doesn't even hear. So he never figured it out. Got home. Oh, is that getting a little crooked there? Damn. Damn little phone thing. And uh, so he never uh, he never put it together. A little tip for the people, too. This is a little, little insider information from the big guy right back. If you ask me a question, hey... Are you the, this guy? I will say no pretty much almost all the time. Unless unless it is a small kid. But if you're an adult and you ask me a question, hey, are you? I will say no. I don't know why. It's just really funny. And it's not to be mean. You just got to entertain yourself sometimes. So we're going to dive into these guys. we got quite a few comments tonight. I've been going hard. I've been going really hard. And I'm very happy today. We had an issue. I, I got to acknowledge this too real quick, guys. And it should be resolved by the time this comes out. But um, with Feed Me More Nutrition, there unfortunately an old manufacturer who was fine while we were there. Um, ABH Pharma was my first manufacturer back east, and they got their GMP certification pulled, and they didn't tell me. And when I found out about it, I ended up had to get all my products. We got them third party tested just to make sure everything was all right. It cost a lot of money. And, uh, and I moved to a new manufacturer and I'm with, I'm with Simpson labs out of uh, Valencia, California. Now I'm very happy. They're great. They multiple certifications and I've got a great relationship with them. I've been down to the facility and it's, um, and they work with me hand in hand on, on everything, 
but the ABH ended up getting shut down by the FDA. Well, ABH submitted a list to the uh, FDA for Feed Me More Nutrition. I mean, for uh, all the companies that they had done business with. Uh, and unfortunately, they dated it back to 2013. Then the FDA published it. So, and then they, there was a voluntary recall, I believe, on the products, any products that this company made. The problem is, is I haven't been affiliated with them for over three years. So I contacted the FDA and then the FDA said, well, ABH has to send us a new letter. Problem is, ABH is shut down and the owner's not getting back on anything. So it is what it is. And then uh, I don't know what happened, but Amazon pulled our Wake Up Unlimited Energy pre-workout and sent out emails. And again, remind you guys, it's not like they call and like ask for clarification before they send this stuff out. Like, hello, sir. Hello, Mr. Ryback Reeves. Uh, we see that there's an issue with ABH Pharma and your company's on this. Uh, we're just going to send out these emails telling everybody your products have been recalled. I don't know if you guys, if you guys, and I know there's some people out there that probably sell on Amazon watching this, you know what I'm talking about. You know. And it's it's a whole different ball game. I've never, the Bezos guy, like, he'll probably be the leader of the, of, of the, of the destruction of mankind at some point. Just the way they treat people, it is, it's a whole other world. And eventually I'm not going to be selling on there. I have, I have two other sellers that sell on there. And I'm going to, because I'm, I'm, I've dealt with them for three years and, it's, uh, this wine is well-deserved today for the phone calls that I had to have, but, uh, they don't, they don't call or ask. They send out emails to every customer that's bought Wake Up Unlimited Energy since 2000 and we, seven, 2017 in January and, uh, saying that our products have all been recalled. None of our products have been recalled because our manufacturer is not ABH Pharma. And even our products that were made by ABH Pharma, they had their GMP certification and everything was completely 100% okay. The products they all made and everything came back completely as label said. And just, it was just a frustrating day and having to email a bunch of people and, and explain everything going on. And uh, this is part of the things of like business. You guys don't necessarily see the bullshit. And I've dealt with this a lot the last three years. And it makes you really... I get motivated by it because I just like, I look at it as, I think a lot of people might get discouraged. I don't, I get upset and I get more like, fuck this. I want to just get bigger, badder, stronger. I want to get this just as where nobody could phase me on anything. And, but I got two other sellers on Amazon and like they're dealing with it now and I got to help them out. So we had to get a letter of compliance from the manufacturer, which by the way, if you look on Amazon, I don't know why this keeps tilting slightly. Am I making this move? This thing is a mind of its own tonight. And, uh, like Simpson labs is listed as the manufacturer on Amazon. ABH is not our manufacturer. So why they just went ahead and did that. And it, so if I didn't get on top of this right away, what they would do and Amazon has already done this once to me guys in which they apologize for their mistake, which every time is their mistake, regardless, it is what it is. I have to deal with it. And, uh, they sent back so much product one time and I had to resend it. I had to pay for it all to go back. I had to pay for it to get shipped to me. That should not have been shipped to me and I had to pay to ship it back. So I have to nip this in the ass before it gets too much because then it's just it's just a pain. So the products are 100%. It's, we're not affiliated with the company and they're now, we sent everything back and now their internal team, the internal team at Amazon is uh, going to get a solution to this within 24 to 48 hours. So the Wake Up Unlimited Energy should be back available on that. The Chocolate Iso Hungry Protein will be available soon back on feedmemore.com. The Fulfillment Center has everything, guys. And so we're going to be all good on all that. They're going to be fulfilling the order starting next week. Thank God. And uh, the big guy can, can get a little piece of himself back. Let's get into this, shall we? Nine minutes the video actually starts for the assholes keeping track. All right. DJ Prison Rape. Jesus fuck. Okay, I didn't... This is, whole thing is just for religious people is a real... A real mess right now. Um, we've said a lot of words that probably 24 people unsubscribed. DJ Prison Rape says, um, God damn it. It is only people in uh, Illinois that know the yes is silent. And so I might have said Illinois on the video. I, I say both. 
because uh, it was like Louisville. Before I moved to Louisville, I used to say Louisville, but it's it's supposedly Louisville. And then once I was there, I just always said it like that. So, I mean, assume, I actually say it both ways. And uh, I believe I actually read it the, the correct way, if there is a correct way, for the Illinois people. Don't say Illinois, but I get it, I get it. Uh, next comment, the Jackalmore. Oh, man. Oh, we always get some of these. Why do we always get these? Just... All those roids went to his voice. And I just got a manly voice. I've had a manly voice. My whole, like, literally, my old, go back ever since I became a man. I'll never forget when I became a man. Do I share that story on here? That's a, I don't know. I can't share that story on here. Sorry, that's really bothering me. I had to move that one a little. The other leg kept slowly sliding. Yeah, I can't share that story on here. I think my parents watch. They're fans of the big guy right back. <laughs> Moving on. Save that for another video with Phoenix or something. Whatever. Whoever is on. Chris, uh, the Beast Puck. Uh, big Dog, love you. Uh, big Dog, love ya. And all your content. But Jesus, it drive me crazy to listen to you eat and chew and talk with your mouth, mo mouth open. Yeah, caveman. <laughs> okay. Okay. Moving on. Jared Armstrong. Even the low-fat mayo is made from eggs, sir. You're eating diet chickens. And I've mentioned, I do primarily plant-based. I, I have not had any animal meat, chicken, fish, or anything of that nature. I've done, uh, I was doing eggs a little bit in the beginning. I haven't done eggs, and it's probably been a couple weeks since I've had an egg. Um, but I was doing low-fat ranch, which I know has that some milk in it. But I've actually went and bought uh, some uh, vegan ranch tonight. And uh, have incorporated that, and it tastes really, really good. The fat content's a little higher, but I do that, I use it on my salad, so I'm not eating any carbs with that. So I was okay with that, because I've cut down on my carbs. I don't know if you can tell. Like, I'm, I'm getting pretty, pretty fucking jacked. <sighs> Moving on. But yeah, guys, I just put a post up too on like animal cruelty, and there's some good videos out. I posted a, a thing on my Instagram, and just simply about animal cruelty. And not telling anyone. I'm never going to tell anyone how to eat. And I never have. I eat more meat and steak and chicken and fish and all that than anyone. So I just think once you um, understand what's kind of going on. And maybe it's all just an individual journey. All I know is my tits. My tits look really good. Not having any animal protein and being 300 pounds and shredded right now. And I'm not. It's just getting better and better. Blood flow in my body has increased tremendously. I'm, and I mean, it, it's nice. When I'm posing in front of a mirror naked upstairs in the morning after a nice hot shower, I like the way everything looks. I like, I like it a lot. So, I'm, uh, you know, do what does, whatever suits you. What, uh, but I think if you watch the videos of the animal uh, uh, factory farming and the animal cruelty going on, it might make you just question things a little bit and whether maybe you get your, your meats from a different place and, you know, because I bet you, you know, I promise you guys, I promise you, this shit all comes back around. You, you can believe whatever the fuck you want to believe. But what if when you die, just you got to think about this. And it's, it's fine. You're going to, we're going to all, we're all, and I'm going to be experiencing a shit ton of pain, I'm sure. What if you could just go through cycles of just getting fucking slaughtered over and over again? Boom, you're fucking dead. You die your human life. You wake up as a fucking pig getting fucking put in a gas chamber for three hours. You fucking don't get tortured. You die. You wake up as a fucking cow. You get fucking just mutilated right from the fucking beginning. Just get fucking raped. Just everything over and over and over again. I don't know. I don't know. But there's an ethical way to do things. And you can see, you watch the videos and you watch how us humans treat other animals. 
I promise you guys this, if I saw that firsthand and I knew somebody that did that, in watching those videos and what some of those people do, they're not just doing their jobs, they're going out of their way to really, really torture animals. And uh, due to YouTube, I can't make certain threats or say certain things, but I assure you, people like that, man, humans, the humans like that, I have zero compassion for, zero, zero. They don't deserve that, so. Moving on, Ryan uh, Low ran. Why do they inform this? Stupid fucking names. Ryan's a good name. It used to be my name. I love you, man, but no one wants to eat that nasty sandwich. It's okay if you don't want to eat it, Ryan. I, I'm, he's talking about the Subway uh, vegetarian sub. I loved it. Is Jim Carrey. I, I, I liked it a lot. Um, it's okay if you don't like it. I don't know why we're so hell-bent on whatever it is that we like or do that we need 7 billion plus other people, soon to be fucking 15 billion. But if coronavirus takes over, maybe it will go down to like 5 billion. I don't know. But why are we so hell-bent that like whatever we choose to do has to be completely done by everybody else? I don't know. I don't think I've once said like I started doing plant but I've tried every diet there is. And I've never once said, like, you need to do this. I, I'm all for people learning. Just be an open book. Start your journey of learning. And I think we all end up kind of in a similar place when it's all said and done. But holy fuck. I just don't understand the comments sometimes. It's not bad. It's not like a mean comment. It's just like, but just because you don't want it doesn't mean that I didn't want it. Wesley uh, Hofer, I bet you never even tasted that sub because that plant-based crap ain't no good, LOL. I do get a little concerned with the spelling after a little bit, guys. I do, because it is a very common thing. But that could have, that was the only word. Well, no, because he didn't spell cuz. He spelled C-O-S. The new generation is a very uh, spelling, and it's what it is. It's, it's who cares. I can read. I understand what he's saying. So, but ain't no good. Um, I liked the sub, so I, I can't. God, who would have ever thought? It's so crazy, and you know what? Too, it's like if I would have like, I'm going, I'm going carnivore, guys. I'm going to eat nothing but meat, and then you get attacked by the other group. It's like there's always, you just always there's always someone, and that's okay. Man, three vegan comments in a row. This is fucking getting... Jeez. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie, guys. I am such in such a good place. I <laughs> When I see people get upset over some of this shit, it's... <laughs> oh, holy hell. Keep eating vegan and you'll lose your mind like the rest of them. You know this is how the zombie apocalypse is going to happen. Oh, Brian. I'm not even going to say your last name. It's a stupid last name. <laughs> Shane's Average Poisel. First time I disliked one of your vids. I don't know. That could have been any one of them. That's, I'm okay with that. Thank you for clicking on the dislike. It's the same as clicking on the like. <laughs> stupid! <laughs> I'm giving you guys the answers and you still do it. Man. Man, oh, man. It's okay, though. I can't please 7 billion brains at once. If I was, fucking hell, the shit I would be capable of. Uh, Chachi Fear Ryback can't do a full interview without getting out of breath and swallowing noises. <laughs> I love some of you guys. That was good. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, Ronnie Creason. Dude, just eat them. I, I assume that was from the, because it was a, a day ago. That was from uh, the the uh, 
cricket and worm. They were dehydrated, and they weren't bad once I did it. You got to understand, I've never done that, so I do like you don't see people doing that shit all the time. No, I mean not. It's I mean there are people that do it all the time, but also Ronnie, I think I need to explain something to you. I'm an entertainer, and this is YouTube. I could have very easily started the video and hit play and then just put them in my mouth and chewed them and swallowed them and said, and clicked off. But that would have been a really boring video. You have to, I'm a storyteller. What's your name? I fucking forgot your name. The screen went off. Ronnie, sorry, Ronnie. I'm a storyteller. I'm telling stories. I'm selling stories on this channel. The activities are the activities. They're just a medium for me to talk and tell stories. Give out positivity and give a little hope. So, maybe one of these days I'll do a video where I don't say anything and I just eat and shut the video off. For for people like Ronnie. <laughs> it'll be the least watched video ever, but it'll be alright. It'll be okay. Uh, New Breed says, don't abuse your body, Ryback, for views. Ah! Too late. <laughs> what the fuck? When have I abused my body for views? What is going on? Well, I mean, I just did it right now for this. I squeezed, did it myself a little double titty twister. That double titty twister got me. <laughs> uh, I think he's talking probably about the hot challenges. Guys, I'm cool. That stuff. And the hot challenges don't cause ulcers, guys. If you have ulcers, it can make them worse. It doesn't cause the ulcers themselves. There's a lot of health benefits to it. Now, granted, eating uh, tr like super large things of heat, I'm very careful on what I'm doing with this. I'm raising my tolerance at a very like good pace. I got another heat challenge tomorrow, and I think I'm going to do the plutonium coming up the following week. I'm going to do a toothpick, and we're going to see how that is, and then uh, we'll go from there and see. So, uh, Moving on, Ben Roberts, but you still can't be... <sighs> Shamus, LOL. He meant Seamus, um, but he spelled it S H A M O U S. So, and I, well, it's all, I, I hate to break it to you, Ben, but it's entertainment. And um, Seamus was actually the guy that I pinned for the Intercontinental Championship. And um, I think I've wrestled him once or twice. And well, actually, we wrestled a hand, he wrestled me early on when I was, early years, when I was big time babyface ride back and uh we did some cool live events together man i wish we could have had a good program i'm really happy for him to be back he actually was on tv just a little bit ago got smacked down on here and uh it's roman and key Cor king corbin out there right now loser eats dog food cool good tv compelling tv maybe that's what you just eat dog food next week what, what, what do you guys want to see that that's so weird. Why? That's like, I don't even want to go down that. that. I'll get sick off that. Eat a can of dog food, of the of the wet dog food. I'm pretty sure I'll get sick. I can then I'd go off my vegan diet too on that, unless I got a vegetarian dog food. So we're not doing that. Fuck that. I think we got a few more here, some really mean ones. By the way, guys, Stone Cold Steve Austin is sending me his IPA. So I'm hoping to have that next week for boozing with the big guy. Or doing a review, and me and o ODB are gonna do a cool little uh, little video together, drinking, bullshitting, and talking coming up soon. So, I mean, we might do that every week, actually. Me and her. Uh, this guy was on this. This was from this way. I brought up Stone Cold from that interview with him that we put on the channel. Uh, so, what percent dead baby is Ryback then talking about the stem cells and uh, namely the bioaccelerator stem cells uh, from? Uh, when I went to Medellin, Colombia, and they use umbilical cord stem cells from he healthy born babies with consenting mothers. So, unfortunately, some of the people, they read something and they think that that applies to everything. And not to say that there haven't been things with dead babies and stem cells, but I think you sometimes should kind of, before you put a comment up there, you should really check and then double check and triple check to make sure that um, you don't end up looking like a dumbass at the end of the day because it's not a thing that applies to anything that I've done. And the rest of my stem cell procedures with my own bone marrow, so. 
Moving on, moving on. <clears throat> uh, dude, you might have CTE from Stephen LaFrance. Uh, no, I've never, I've never had a documented concussion or anything of that nature. And um, from being jacked and doing the neck machine since I was a child, you son of a bitch, which is a shock absorber so that when you get hit in the head, that it kind of absorbs the blow and from, from rocking the brain and making the brain move as much. So the more you know, everybody should be doing the neck machine just so... If somebody comes up and, 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 and you know, wax you, it gives you a better shot to be able to keep, uh, to stay coherent. And then get really angry and break their neck. But uh, I think he was doing that for when I, I flubbered, flubbed my words on one of the one of the episodes. You got to remember, guys, I'm like recording stuff and doing stuff all day. That's why I don't edit shit out. I don't give a fuck. I don't have time for that shit. This is as raw as it gets. Get the real deal here. And if I mess up, I go, BOTCH! And I don't care. Because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's the best way to be, I promise you. Um, yeah, that's the CTE, a double comment on that. Uh, Uh, Carlos Murphy says, uh, laughing my ass off. I can eat that like it's candy, little girl. I assume he's talking about the crickets and the worms. And I'm okay with that. I don't understand why people have to insult people to make themselves feel better. That just tells me, like, you're so insecure when you do that. <laughs> uh, as far as, like, that goes. Because I know I was going to call you a little bitch, but, you know. I'm coming back at you. So it's different. It's totally different. Um, why the fuck... This is from Robert Gambino. Why the fuck does he put his dog in a cage? And it's... it's Sophie and the little guy, and they're in their crates. They're not right now. They're on the couch sleeping together right now. But um, because Sophie is at, uh, has severe disc disease and is... Uh, I got to leave them in there when I'm working during the day for, and they're not there. They are spoiled and they're not in there. Not that often. So they sleep on the bed next to me at night. She gets carried up and downstairs. They get treats throughout the day. They get fed. They get fed great food. They get treats. They got the mother giving them, giving them chicken and all sorts of little nice, healthy treats all throughout the day in there. Pl give oil incense and warm blankets and they fall asleep on her bed. They are doing good. Okay. It's, uh, but they're in the cage when I'm working because I have to take her out on the leash and I can't let her run or play or do anything because her back has broken the six times in her, uh, four times in her sleep, two times just lying in the living room here, not doing anything. And, uh, and then the first time was six times in her sleep. Sorry. So I no, I take that back. One time was after she went up the steps after one of her surgeries, she went up the steps and it went out right away. So that was that was a really that one sucked. So but that's why, buddy. It's not. If you watch the videos, you'll know I take I take great care of my dogs. So not even upset at that. You did. Last one. Last one. The final comment. Jimmy Pacheco. Did he criticize Daniel Bryan having veins in his biceps and call it suspicious? What about all your veins when you were in WWE? Many people suspected you of roids and you wouldn't be surprised if it were true. And wouldn't be surprised if it were true. Sorry, he didn't say you on that. That was my mistake. But maybe he's just working out harder. Maybe he's on a strict diet to cut back some body fat. But Daniel Bryan is a performer who wouldn't. You, E, you, small, big E. So crazy how the fuck ups happen on the spelling on these when they roids and doesn't need to have dumb catchphrases to main event WrestleMania for your information capitalize. So I think he's talking about a live I did where Dan is in considerably better shape than he, I've ever seen him in. And Dan worked out extremely hard, as hard as anybody. Uh, in my time in WWE that I saw, or his workouts were shorter, but he, I mean, he worked out consistently 
and uh, he was in, he wasn't at the gym nowhere nowhere near the amount of time I was in, in it, it, but that's he did what he had to do for him and uh, and his diet was always money so that's why when I make comments when somebody's physique changes drastically or when I see, haven't seen him for a bit and I can notice some changes I never once said Daniel Bryan is, is abusing steroids or taking so I just said his physique has changed and it was suspicious because I that's uh, physiques just don't change like that after knowing what you know the and I'm not accusing Daniel of anything it's very I don't I don't know what he what he's doing he could have made any amount of changes and I'm not aware of but the he doesn't need to have dumb catchphrases to main event WrestleMania well he does have a dumb catchphrase and it's a good guy like the catchphrase but it's like a simple catchphrase so it's um I don't know what you everyone has catchphrases every like pro wrestler catchphrases are what you do it's part of your character it's who you are when your catchphrase gets over you get over it's part of getting over it's all connected so Jesus fuck why do people get like I hope you're doing all right, Jimmy. You you seem like you got a, a real small dick. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, there you have it, guys. Another episode of Winding with the Ryback. And today, my, my go-home message is uh, love over fear. Choose love over fear each and every day. And I'm reading a really good book on judgment right now. And I'm, and it's, we all are very judgmental at different times. It's just human nature. And uh, on certain things, it's appropriate. And on other things, it, it's not as appropriate because it only ends up hurting us. So I actually got a, a really uh, cool book that I'm finishing. And uh, we're going to get this, this woman hopefully on the podcast and uh, really break down some stuff. I'm going to have her really with some issues I have. I want her to like, I want to get into to the brain of the big guy. So, but choose love over fear whenever you can. And uh, a good piece of advice I can give you guys that it could really help you out. When you guys are scrolling and watching videos and things, you're going to see things that you don't like. Practice. You got to start practicing this, guys. This falls on you. When you see something you don't like, just simply move on and try to watch something that you do like. And that's, you don't have to, when you stop and leave the bad comment, it comes back to you. It really does. And it's okay. Like it, it's I, like, I'm trying to help you guys and successful people don't leave the comments. Like you guys leave that like I'm giving you free fucking advice here. Stop it. I can handle this shit all day long. I suck. I'm ugly. Fuck me. I said, whatever. I'm so happy and confident. It, fuck it. Like I'm trying to help you. Knock it off. Knock it off. And, uh... uh <laughs> Thank you for watching. Good night. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here. For my podcast, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms, click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.